Anne Hernandez was a New England Patriot. He and Oyden Lloyd, a semi-pro football player, both dated sisters and enjoyed clubbing together. They were friends until one night, Aaron snapped. Lloyd was shot five times by a firearm, and Hernandez was arrested for first-degree murder and five firearm violations. Lloyd's body was found in an industrial park by a jogger passing by. Aaron Hernandez was associated with drugs and gangs. Was Hernandez innocent, or did he murder Oyden Lloyd? After searching Hernandez's house in North Attleboro, the police found evidence that Hernandez had intentionally destroyed his home security system. In addition to this, a cell phone that belonged to Hernandez was turned over to the police in pieces, and Hernandez also allegedly hired a team of house cleaners the same day Lloyd's body was discovered, which raised additional suspicion. of evidence is Hernandez's cell phone, which could contain important information about the murder of Odin Lloyd. Judge Susan Garsh has denied the motion to suppress Hernandez's cell phone, which means that any evidence from his BlackBerry is admissible at trial. Next, there was a ruling on a motion to suppress statements from a police interrogation on June 18th of last year. That was also denied. And finally, the judge ruled on a motion to suppress evidence obtained during the execution of a search warrant on June 22nd, 2013 at Hernandez's home in North Attleboro, as seen in this surveillance video. The judge has decided to throw out a towel that was obtained, but the motion is otherwise denied, which means that all other evidence seized in that search is admissible. Hernandez is scheduled to go to trial early next year for the murder of Odin Lloyd. And one other note also breaking tonight, a judge is denying a motion by Hernandez's fiance to have her perjury charges dismissed. She is accused of lying to a grand jury looking into the death of Odin Lloyd. Phil to you. Called to the stand was Carlos Oritz, an ex-friend of Hernandez that was testifying against him. In his testimony, he revealed the existence of a secret apartment rented by Hernandez that had evidence against him inside. A search of this apartment turned up ammunition and clothing the police thought to prove his guilt. Besides Oritz, nearby workers also said they heard gunshots around times that corresponded with the murder. A new development in the Aaron Hernandez case. Hernandez associate Carlos Ortiz has been indicted on charges of being an accessory to murder after the fact in the slaying of Odin Lloyd of Dorchester. A grand jury handed up the indictment this week. Ortiz had faced a weapon charge before the indictment. Hernandez is now charged with first degree murder. Another associate, Ernest Wallace, is also charged with accessory to murder after the fact. A judge upheld a $500,000 cash bail uh, with him yesterday in Bristol Superior Court. Prosecutors said Ortiz has changed his story about what happened at the murder scene in a North Attleboro industrial park. Prosecutors say Ortiz now says only Hernandez and Lloyd got out of a car before Lloyd was shot to death, before he had said Wallace also got out of the car. No court date has been set for Ortiz. I'm Mike Bellow for the Boston Globe. There were many different evidences throughout this case. Hernandez claimed he was a 23-year-old kid who witnessed his friend's murder. After the murder, they were testing the DNA found at the crime scene. They said there was a lack of testing and the testing was not complete. They tried to test the footprints but did not find anything. At some crime scenes, there are a lot of photographs taken. Well, not this one. There were not a lot of photographs taken, so they could not get any information that he murdered Lloyd. Robert Kraft said at the time of the murder, they suspected Aaron Hernandez being at a nightclub. Mel Robbins stated that the time Lloyd was shot had not been made public yet by the time Hernandez met with Kraft, so how could Hernandez know when Lloyd was killed? Aaron Hernandez was found guilty of first-degree murder in the death of Odin Lloyd, as well as also being found guilty on firearm and ammunition charges. The conviction carried a mandatory sentencing of life in prison without the possibility of parole. Madam Fourperson, on indictment 2013-983-A, Charging the defendant, Aaron Hernandez, with murder. What say you, Madam Foreperson? Is the defendant not guilty? Guilty of murder in the first degree? Or guilty of murder in the second degree? Guilty of murder in the first degree. Madam Foreperson, by which theory or theories, deliberate premeditation and or extreme atrocity or cruelty? Extreme atrocity or cruelty. Indictment 2013-983-B, charging the defendant, Aaron Hernandez, with unlawful possession of a firearm while not at home or work. 
What say you, Madam Foreperson? Is the defendant not guilty or guilty? Guilty. Indictment 2013-983-C, charging the defendant, Aaron Hernandez, with unlawful possession of ammunition. What say you, Madam Foreperson? Is the defendant not guilty or guilty? Guilty.